Uh oh, so you're working with a marketing agency that is charging you monthly hosting costs. Uh, if that's the case, I just wanted to really quickly break down um, why it's not fair that they're doing that, what you should be paying off your monthly hosting, and other steps to take to really quickly ensure that you are safe and that your site and your assets will be safe. And so real quick, I just want to kind of break it down for you. Um, here's some of the top hosting providers. So if you want to go on Google, you can find them yourselves. Just type in best website hosts or best WordPress hosting plans. Um, so assuming most of you are on WordPress. And so basically it's anywhere between six to $18 a month. So I've heard people paying upwards of 300 bucks a month to host their website. And I just think that's ridiculous. I'm going to show you why. And so typically what they will do, um, people who are charging you this will though assure you that you'll be protected from any sort of security. So all you have to do, um, here, here's actually a really simple security plugin. Uh, this one that we use. Um, so if you want to make sure that you're super, super secure, uh, sign up for something called SiteLock. And so can, you can either get an annual plan or a monthly plan uh, that looks kind of like this. And so if you're paying annually uh, for one site, 149 bucks. And so that, as well as the six to $18 a month that you're paying for hosting in about two months, uh, you'll be saving a lot of money just by switching to one of these hosts and having a security plan in place, just in case somebody hacks your website. Um, a company like SiteLock will help you ensure that you get it back, that you keep all your assets. And so if you want a couple of cheap hosts, two that I would recommend, one would be Namecheap and the other would be Bluehost. Namecheap is really cheap. Um, it's kind of a cheap entry point way to get into hosting. Um, if you want one of the better ones, highly recommend checking out something called SiteGround. And so they're not the cheapest, um, as I know it says right here, it starts from $2.99 a month. You're probably going to end up paying a little bit more of that just to make sure that you are also safe and secure. And so I uh, just wanted to kind of share this with you to kind of help educate the Canvas community on how easy it is to host your own websites, your own domain names. And so imagine, for example, that they also have your domain name. So let's type in Street City Dispensary. Let's imagine you're just trying this is the name you came up with and you want to open up something called Street City Dispensary, you only have to pay about $10 a year. Okay, so when you add in that in addition to about $149 a year, uh, so $159 a year just to have your domain and your security, uh -huh. as well as finally, uh, imagine you were to book hosting through, uh, let's just go with Namecheap, just real quick. So I'd recommend getting an annual plan, just kind of uh, doing it that way. As I'm saying, if you get a cheap hosting service like that, uh, you're not necessarily going to have problems as long as you get security in addition. But here's what it would look like. So, you know, if you're looking at a yearly plan, you're looking at about, was that, about 60 bucks a year. Um, and in addition to this, about 210, 210, 200, 220 dollars roughly in annual costs for your domain hosting and security. And so in comparison, if you're already paying 200, 300 bucks a month just for your hosting, you can see right here that you can save a lot of money just by switching to doing things on your own. And so if you need some help doing this, uh, you can feel free to reach out to me. Love to help you set up your hosting and domain in a manner that you retain the keys and hold the keys to them always. Thanks again. Hope you have a great day and talk soon.